We got a damn good show for you tonight. What do you say, Jane? Yeah, we got a damn good show. Let's get her done. <laughs> All right. Good day, folks. I am stopping here to check out a spot I've been eyeballing for a while now. So I'm just gonna go in the woods here and have a quick look around. There's a bottle there. It's modern though. But there's a section of woods I see as I'm driving by that looks like a lot of flat green area just in past the tree line. Which kind of looks like a, might have been a home or something sitting in there at one time. So I'm just gonna come in and have a quick look around. Do a little exploring. If I see anything, I'll get you back up on. You better believe it. <laughs> Let's get at it. Okay, so I'm not in here very far at the moment, folks. You might even still be able to hear the vehicles going by. But I got some trash in here already. Right down here, underneath this, I see there's some sort of. Oh, what's this? It's got some uh, measurements on it. Abbott Laboratories. It's not real old. 1954. 54 right there. Huh. Got the original lid on it. Looks like. What the heck does that say? Something 10% in water. DEX 10% in water. Hmm. Okay, well, there's that. Oh, look at the base. Alright, I'll keep looking around. I might do a little scratching right here, actually. There's some cans and stuff in here. Oh, there's a piece of metal there. I don't see a whole lot for glass. Right here on the surface, though. Okay, I'll look around. Well, there's literally debris all through the woods here. Pretty good size area. I'm looking for an older section, actually. See some ball. What's this ACL here? Oh, it's broke. It's one of those sparkle soda bottles. Coca Cola. That one's from uh, Machaya's, Maine. Probably from the 50s. Here's a panel side bottle. It's broke. Screw top. more here there's another one there that's a nice old panel side screw top though here's an amber one sticking out a Buckley's yeah these are looking like from the 50s here's one sticking out pull that that's a screw top nice embossed Raleigh's though yeah Hmm. Oh, there's a... Oh, it's busted. That looks like another blue one right in there, folks. It's not actually why I got you up. I'm going to grab it since I see it here. There's a Boyd's. Nice one. Zinc. Porcelain insert. There's that big blue one. Oh, there's a... I'll grab that in a minute. That's in a side edge embossed bottle right there. But I seen something right over here I want to show you. Check it out. Christmas tree light. All right. I don't have this one. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Nice find. Yeah, beauty. 
Awesome find. Okay. Well, even if this just turns into a bit of a surface hunt and explore here today, folks, it make for a pretty good little video because there's some decent stuff here just on the surface. Here's this one here I want to get into. What is that? A, a Dr. Kilmer's swamp root. What the heck? I've seen the old cork top versions, but never one like that. First time I've even found a Dr. Kilmer's personally. Well, that's a first for me. What else? We, there's something right here, too. This is a, a dentocillin. Jane and I dug one of these up here not too long ago. Not here, but nearby. Like a week or so ago. First time we'd seen one. Here's another one. Look, there's a Rexel hair tonic bottle. The only thing that could make this better would be if these were all cork tops, but uh, you never know. We might get into some cork tops here. We just gotta keep digging around a little. See what turns up. If anything. Look, there's one of those big, uh, that looks like cod liver oil on that. I thought that was a wine bottle. Hmm. All right, let's keep looking around. There's a, what's that one right there? No, it's not, I thought it might have been a cork top. Oh, oh, little panel side bottle. There's one here, check it out folks. It's a milk bottle, I was freaking standing right on it. It was an ACL. Oh, freaking flies are bad. Ah, oh, there's a big hole on it. Footman Hillman Dairies, Bangor. Sunny Day Milk, Sunny Dale. Hmm. Yeah, well, let's keep going. Well, still looking for an older section, folks. But in the process, check it out. One of those emerald green coke bottles. <laughs> awesome. That's the third one of these I've dug since I've started bottle digging. I believe they only exist up here in Canada. No, I stand corrected. I think there's some down in the States as well. Maybe even a couple uh, other different colors. But uh, that's a nice find. Check it out. It's like a 7-Up green or a Sprite green. Very cool. I'll take that for sure. And right in through here, I thought I seen the reflection of blue. I did right there, but it's broke. I can see that. It's broke from here. All right. Oh, God. Right in the lily wag here. Okay, I'll get you back up in a bit. Well, if I'm going to be pulling out stuff from the 50s, I don't mind this. Check out this ACL I just flipped up. I don't know if the top's still on it or not. I just thought I better get you up while I pull it. It feels like it's, it's definitely stuck. There we go. Old-fashioned Ma's root beer. Oh, it's got a picture of a somebody's grandmother on it. <laughs> uh, awesome. Uh, Pennsylvania, maybe? I think it's from Pennsylvania. No, Bangor, Bangor, Maine down here. Check it out. I think it's shoulder embossed as well. It is. I can't tell what it says, but... I think it's old-fashioned, old old-fashioned root beer or something it says. That's a nice old bottle. All right. 
well for the most part folks this stuff is just too modern a lot of 60s stuff um find a bit of 50s and a bit of 40s but mostly uh 60s and late 50s just scratch this here up check it out i found a couple of these last year i think it was or the year before it's actually a car paint that's a guy on it there embossed with a paintbrush first time i dug one up i thought it was a soldier holding like a staff or a spear or something but this one's got the lid on it as well so that's kind of neat and then uh, there's a bottle here as well and i believe it's from the i believe that uh, paints from the 50s and this beer bottle looking bottle it says ball on the base of it so that's a little bit different i'll keep looking around okay i may get you up real quick here folks while i dig around a bit because a bunch of weird stuff's coming out right now there's this lighter and you can see there's a nice design on it but i'm pretty sure the design is actually on like a piece of foil that's attached to it kind of like on this side here you can see how it's kind of detaching itself there toy gun barrel come out not sure what it says there something kid and uh, part to a toy truck metal toy truck so it's coming out just right down in here See if anything else pops out of interest. All right, this spoon just come out. Pretty sure it's not silver, but there's definitely something on it up here. Can't quite make it out, so I'm going to take it and just to clean it up and see what it is. There's the markings on the back side. Yeah, IS. It's a uh, something silver, like silver plated, I imagine. But anyways, there's that. I'm going to take it and uh, see what that design is on it. Here's the spoon. It looks like somebody used it to stir some paint. So I just cleaned it up as best I could for now for the video. And as you can see, there's Mickey up there. And down here, it says Mickey Mouse. So there you go. Silver plate it. Cool little find. 1930s. Of course, it probably won't be now, but so I believe. I don't see anything now. What was this? Oh, it's a broken cowboy. So there's a little bit of toys in here. Some glass. Just a jar. Piece of plate glass. Alright, I'll get you off if anything comes out. Got another guy right here, folks. Just flipped him out. It's a knight. That's actually the second night that I've dug in the past couple of years. And this guy looks like he may be exactly the same as the other one. I got the other one out of like a 50s dump as well. Something out of a little toy set. Well, just flipped out a blue one, folks. And this one, I haven't found one of these in a few years. This is a food coloring bottle. Because I've dug one up in the past that had partial label on it yes sir don't find those too often nice little shaped bottle yes sir
Northrop and Lyman Company Limited, Toronto, Canada. Huh, N and L. It's a screw top. That's probably from the 30s, I'm sure. Gotta be. That's a nice little bottle. I'll keep that one. And then over here. We're getting a few finds out of here, folks. All in all, wasn't too bad. Uh, I don't expect to find any real stunners here. No complete cork tops yet, though. So, I don't know what that means, but... Might be worth coming back in the future when I got more time to do some more digging around. But for now, I think I might just get out of here. That was a good way to finish it off with that nice little embossed bottle. So, over and out for now. Catch you on the flip side. <laughs>